So he went home sick, bro. Why? Do you think he'd pull the U? You think he was trying to fake sick? Yeah. Hello and good morning everyone. It's a work day for me. I was up early, got ready, got the kids ready. Although it wasn't hard to wake up early because this little miss was up at six o'clock this morning. I heard her brothers wake at 6.30. They wake up so early every single day. I cannot figure it out. They're gonna be tired today. I'm already tired. And I just got word that our appliances are on the way. They're gonna be here in about 20 minutes. I have that much time to get the kids to school and get back to get my appliances here. <laughs> Let's go, okay? Oh good, thank you. Just checking all the lights. Okay, let's go now. Dropping my little sweethearts off. Hey, love, love you. you. Make good choices, okay? Make good choices today. Okay, did Papa get a sign to me? Yes. Can I have a kiss? Oh, he kissed my nose. I love you. Have a fantastic day, okay? I love you, boys. See you. Don't freeze. Just got home. The delivery guys are not here yet. I thought they'd beat me here from taking the kids to school. The plan is they're just gonna bring them in our house and set them probably right here. The reason being, my dad's gonna come out and help us tonight. So we're just gonna sit here and wait. I think that they should be here very soon. They just rang the doorbell. They're just getting here. Let's see. They're just gonna bring them in and just set them right in here. I am so excited. You guys, I can't even believe it. Although no pressure to start like really cooking. I'm not gonna cook today because it won't be installed today. I always like to have Brandon home if I'm gonna have anything done at the house. You just need someone handy, someone who you know like anything's gonna. Go I just wrong. need someone tough that if anything yeah, happened, they could say, protect me. We need to put the coupler closer to flux capacitor. What Although are you talking about? <laughs> I just told him I want him to open them to make sure that there's no scratches, oh, nothing's yeah, wrong with it. Because we've had stuff delivered where pieces are broken if they're scratched. Usually, what's best is to deny <laughs> it on delivery, and then they can send you a new one if anything's wrong with it. I decided I don't want it. Take it back out. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Poof, just like that, we've got a new oven and microwave in the house. Mom's already started with her nail clients. The timing was pretty great, actually. They came really early. They gave us a window of 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And you just never know when that's gonna be. We were worried they might be when we were taking the kids to school or maybe in the middle of me working and mom doing nails. We couldn't really get to it, but it was the perfect time just before mom started nails, just after we dropped off the kids at school. So we've now got a random double oven. Hey, Les, check it out. And microwave sitting in our front room here. We are gonna install those tonight. But guys, I just got a phone call from the school. Guess what, Rye Guy is not feeling well. This morning, he really struggled that swim, just getting up and getting going. He said his legs hurt, his stomach hurt, his face was kind of just all washed out white, a little bit green. Sometimes I can tell when they're faking or when they're just trying to get a little bit of sympathy, but this time I could tell something was up. I told him to power through swim, do your best, fight hard, and he did it. I could just tell as I dropped him off from school, he was just off. So he just called from the school, not feeling well, almost in tears, difficult even talking and breathing. So I believe him. I believe that he's actually sick. I'm gonna go pick him up from the school right now. Mom's gonna be doing some nails. I'm gonna run grab Rye Guy. I feel bad. I don't think this one is fake. But you, you know guys. what? Let's get it done before Hawaii. Yes. You know, we should have them just share saliva. Get the sickness just through the house, sick, circulate it. Done. We don't want that in two weeks. Good time to get sick. I'm gonna go pick him up, bring him home, settle him in. I don't know that he'll be quite as pampered as Crew was when he was sick. All right, just got my rag guy. He is definitely not feeling good, you guys. It's no joke. Uh, no fake and sick here. First of all, it's a super icy parking lot. I almost slipped nine times on the way in, so be careful. I'll hold your arm. But dude, this just makes me like infinitely more proud of you because this morning, you guys didn't see any of this, but he went to swim. And a lot of times it's just hard to get up in the morning because it's early and it's just not fun. So sometimes we can feel like our bodies don't feel good. Use it as an excuse to get out of trying hard and swimming hard. So I just said, dude, suck it up. You can do it. It's one morning. And you did that. You powered through that. But I think you are genuinely sick, which is like so much more of an accomplishment, dude. Proud of you for that and almost kind of sorry for making you do it, but okay. let's get you home, get you into bed and resting, okay? okay? Go get you up into some comfortable clothes, PJs, something warm, have you lay in your bed for a little bit. Mom is doing nails. I gotta get busted out on the vlog. It might be a little bit late today, but I don't mind because I wanted to come get you. You can just chill there until I get done or mom gets done and then we can come take care of you. Do you want like a Sprite or anything? Or... Want a Sprite cranberry? Uh -huh. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but your face is literally like greenish. What did you say your teacher said when you said you wanted to call? So I was went over to my teacher and I was like, I feel sick. And then she was like, you look sick. Yeah, you, you Same do. Same with my TA. Your whole face is like ghostly white, but also like a shade of green. Anyways, I know you're sick, not faking like your brother, which is good. Let's get into the pajamas. Oh, I interrupted you. What were you saying? Feels bad? Like what? Stomach, head, what's the deal? My head hurts, my throat hurts, and like my arms and legs hurt. I think you've got like that like bone muscle pain when you've got, I'm hoping not flu, but like everything kind of hurts from the inside. All right, let's get some rest, buddy. Two hours later. Gonna go up and check on Rye Guy. I feel bad. Minde and I are both super busy this morning. It's a tough morning for him to be sick because we can't really cater to him. Hopefully he is okay in here taking care of himself. He's just gonna come check on him. Hey, are you sleeping? Are you okay? Just resting? Sorry. 
All right, sounds good. Minky. Got your minky. My old pajamas. Life is pretty good. <laughs> Staying cozy. Use your watch. Call me if you need anything. I'm like probably halfway done with the edit, so pretty soon I can just come cater to you, make sure you're okay. Go. Cuddle you, bring you snacks, whatever you need. Go. Love you, dude. Love you. Sorry you're sick, but glad to have you home. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get better. This is very different, very much not like when Kruby Doo was faking sick. You can tell the difference. You can see it in his face, the way he's acting. Not a lot of smiles. Not even really barely the energy to talk. Just gonna take care of him today, get him nursed back to health. I think I will forego the hidden camera in his room. Pretty safe to say this one is sick. I'm just taking a small break from working. I just went up and checked on Ryler. He's really not feeling well. He has a fever, says his throat hurts, his whole body hurts. I'm gonna see how it goes. I don't know, I know a couple of kids in the neighborhood have had strep, so I'm thinking we'll just see. So he is quarantined up to his room for right now, so I keep going up and checking on him but I hope that he can get feeling better. I'm really grateful he's sick before Hawaii. Hawaii seems to be the theme of our lives right now, but as you guys can imagine, taking seven people to Hawaii is probably not the cheapest thing that we've done all year, so we wanna make sure that- I have a dolly for you, only for me. She got a dolly last night that Mana gave her that she gets to take to Hawaii, huh? Do you wanna show everyone? Show you past the oven in my front room. Oh, it's Moana. She gave it to her, but Mana said that she has to wait to Hawaii, huh? Yeah. She is excited to open that on the beach. So anyways, it's kind of the theme of our life. It's everything we're focusing on getting ready for. I feel so bad for Rai Guy. But like I said, I'd rather have him be sick now if he's gonna be sick at all than while we're on our trip. Never a good time to be sick. It's awful. I just keep walking past this thing and I am so excited to get this baby put in. My dad's gonna come help us tonight. Hey Z, let's go get your brother. I'm gonna stay here, okay? Let's here first. Just checking in on Ryler before I go get Brex from school. He's trying hard to fall asleep. He loves his little Amazon Echo thing. Alexa, was oops. Whoa. Play music, Alexa. What do you want to hear? Sorry, I messed it up. What do you call it? Open ambient sounds, Babel and Brooke. Oh my gosh. I need one of those. So guys, I brought Ryler up some muffins and a little Sprite. He says his throat hurt. He has a fever. I just gave him ibuprofen. His body hurts. His head hurts. We're gonna let him rest and relax today. Just that I'm not faking sick though. Mariah right, guy is definitely not fake and he's sick, boy. Okay, take a nap, okay? About to head out the door right now. I'm gonna take my Brexit doodle with me. We're gonna go pick up crew from school, the formerly sick faker. But first, I'm gonna go check on Ryga. Hey, he's asleep, dude. So, Ryga, you. Ryga. Oh, dude. What are you. I just <laughs> wanted to fit this in here. You got your own little setup in here. I love it. So, what is this? Like a little snack tray with some snacks? Yeah. Dude, check it out, bro. That doesn't seem very comfortable using your projector as a pillow. Can you, can you move it? Yeah, do you want me to put a pillow right here? Here. I have one of these. Where did you even get this? Dude, this is, you know what? We never even shown anybody what we ended up doing with this couch, I don't think. Put it in this toy room and I have not seen it used until right now. Probably just wanted a change of scenery, huh? After being in your bed all day? Yeah. I won't talk to you, but I can tell you can barely breathe. Are you okay? Is it coming back now that the medicine's wearing off? It just hurts bad. I'm about to go pick up Creepy Doo. We'll be back. You keep doing your own thing. Just keep relaxing. Close your eyes. Have you been able to fall asleep at all? Try and get some rest. It's always gonna be the best thing for you. But I love that you came in here and set this up all on your own. That's really cool. I'll be back in a minute. If you need anything, let me know. Love you. My eye is like way too in focus. Sorry guys. Just waiting here in the carpool line to pick up Kruby Dooby Doo. As you guys know, many of you know this, millions of you know this, Crew was the one who faked sick not too long ago to stay home. A lot of people commented on that video saying like, wow, if I got pampered like that when I stayed home, I'd fake sick every day. In that situation, obviously we kind of had an idea that he was probably not that sick. And if you guys remember, it was like a half day of school where they were just doing like Christmas parties. So not a big deal to miss. Thought we would just have some fun with it anyway. Um, so a little bit different scenario there than today. But honestly, we do like to, I think probably just because of the way I was raised, my mom would just like wait on me hand and foot when I was not feeling well to kind of like nurse you back to health. Just that motherly tender love and care that you can only get from mom and then also, you know, dad in the situation. <laughs> we do like to do that just because being sick is miserable. It's no fun. And if you are truly sick, unlike crew, it's just no fun. And you just want the day to be over. You just want to get through it and you're just miserable. Definitely trying to cater to Rye Guy today. And that's the reason we do that. Typically speaking, sicknesses don't last very long. So there's a good chance he'll be better by tomorrow. At worst, maybe a couple of days. I'm okay with the pampering for those few hours, few days. If they're not feeling well. And then it's back to life. Switched up angles here so you don't have to stare at my eyes so brightly. Rye guys at home resting up. Mom's finishing up her work day. It's been a busy day for dad. Been on a lot of phone calls, a lot of fun and exciting things coming up. You guys can't wait to tell you about them. Got even more phone calls when we get home. Cool stuff. I know you guys hate those vague teases, but cool stuff that you guys get to be a part of, which is gonna be cool. We're gonna get crew from school, get back home, and then we're gonna get Papa over tonight to install, help install, because you know, I'm probably gonna do most of the work. I'll be like leading and guiding, and then he will kind of just be like my assistant in getting the oven and microwave put in tonight. Kruby Doo? Why did Riley get checked out? So he went home sick, bro. Why? Do you think he'd pull the U? You? you think he was trying to fake sick? 
Yeah? No, he was dead serious sick. Like his face is all like greenish white and he can't even barely talk. He's just been laying on a couch all day and can't even move. That's what really sick looks like. Not jumping up and down on his bed, not eating stashes of candy under his pillow. <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't hide a camera in his room. So maybe he does that when I walk away, but he seems pretty much half dead. So he's just at home sick. So I had to check him out because he called me almost in tears. He was just not feeling good. Wait, dad, is he actually sick? Rye guy, I think he actually is, yeah. I am finally finished working. We've been taking care of Rye guy all day today. I'm gonna make some soup tonight. Maybe that will help him feel better. I'm also taking a dinner into a family. My neighbor was just over here saying, oh my gosh, are you making taco soup? I love taco soup. And I says, I'll bring you some. I bought enough to make three batches. So basically, you guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all of this into here. I'm gonna get going on some dinner. I'm gonna put all of this in the crock pot because I don't wanna use my oven while we're gonna be taking it out. This is one of our favorites. If you guys haven't tried my eight can taco soup, it's on the blog. Go check it out. It's delicious. It's amazing. I'm gonna do dinner. I'm gonna go check on you. How are you feeling? Yeah, you got the hot and cold chills. Do you want the fan on? I'll turn it on. I'm sorry, buddy. What can I get you? Mm. You're sweating for sure. Anything? I'm just making soup, so you can have it in a minute, okay? What kind of soup? Taco soup. I love you. Just checked on Rye Guy. Guys, I feel bad. He's really sick. He feels like a fireplace. He's just burning up. I took him up. Little Sprite. Took him up some medicine. He called me and he's like, Mom, I need more medicine. I'm, I'm so sick. He says his throat hurts and his body hurts. So I'm thinking he's just got the gombu. I feel so bad. Making some soup for him. We'll take him dinner here in a minute. Five minutes later. It's been about five minutes since I had the camera in my hand. Ryler just called me again and he says, Mom, can you just bring me a drink, like water or something? So I have this little junior cup we got at the hospital when Brandon broke his leg. They're like, we're out of the full size cups, but we have these little junior ones. They're tiny. They hold about 18 ounces. So I figured this might be good for him to have because he can have a little straw and bend it over to his mouth. Let's take this to him. All right, buddy. Here you go. Has a little straw you can bend too. Are you just watching a show? Okay. Does that feel better? Thanks. You're welcome. Take your garbage. Yeah. Okay. Love you. See ya. Maybe you should do some reading for that book report you have to do. I know, lame. Soup's up. Mom has been serving soup to the neighborhood, really. She ended up taking it over to a family in need and then also our neighbors who were over earlier today and they're like, ooh, yummy soup. So she made an extra batch, took it over to them. Soup's all around, everybody. But there's still one dude who needs a dinner who hasn't eaten in a very long time. That's our rye guy, not feeling good today. He just called down to me and he said, Dad, do you think that it'd be possible if you could bring that thing up that like sits in your bed so that you can eat in bed? So mom, of course, got out the little breakfast in bed tray is what we use it for. Very rarely used. It's like a Mother's Day thing. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna load some dinner on there and take it up to right guy right now. Hey buddy, how are you, stud? We got you some dinner in bed here. It's like breakfast in bed, but dinner in bed. Did I have to feel bad for you because you've honestly been in here the entire day? There you go, right guy, my main man. Well, dinner in bed. I feel so bad for you. He has tried to nap the entire day. Anything else? Love you, man. I can really tell you're sick. I'm so sorry. Well, guess what? You don't have to go to swim tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna try that. Which means I don't have to get up early. <laughs> okay, bro. We got our dinner downstairs. We're gonna go and eat. Again, if you need anything, call me using your watch. We'll come and bring it to you, okay? Love you, I love you buddy. This day's almost over. You almost made it. Love you. moment has come. We've eaten our dinner. Rye Guy's nestled in his bed with his dinner and Papa just arrived and I'm going to show him how to take out and install an, <laughs> an oven I and a microwave. <laughs> I really hope you can hear sure that laughter. That. <laughs> <laughs> we will get that started. You guys take some notes. You could probably learn a thing or two too. Yeah, and then you're gonna want to set it down on those foam pads. <laughs> That'll protect the tile. No, we want to break the tile. I want new floors. Check this out, this is all the many different colors of this kitchen. This is what it was when we moved in, kind of like this yellowish brown. You can see the gray goes up to there. But underneath here we've got some more layers of color even still. A little stroll down memory lane for this kitchen wall.
Gosh, I love it though. Oh, I love yeah, it. it's almost parallel with your that oh, bottom part. Oh, yeah, it's still got to go up a little bit though. I'll let you feel that. Microwave is in. Success on that one. A lot of multi measurements to get the holes just right, but it went in first try. Absolutely perfect. Now we're about to move the oven in, see if that fits, and if that little anchor foot's going to be in the right place. If it does, let's be 100% on this one. <laughs> you like that purple? I do. <laughs> that's supposed to be that, it's like this easy clean non-stick. That's pretty so cool. I that's why it's it. that weird purple color, but it looks amazing and fits perfectly. <gasps> what do you cool think? One. They look so pretty. Doesn't it look awesome? I'll take it back, you haven't got a blue light. Blue light? Yeah, you got a white light and a blue light. Oh, uh, so that is one thing though, like dead serious, we had the hardest time mismatching brands, but wait. we didn't like the Samsung oven and we didn't like the LG microwave, so we just had to get both. See the light works. <gasps> we have a light! We haven't had that since we lived here. This is like honestly what I've been wanting. This is perfect. It's got the double ovens. Girl. One of them is this convection, I think they said. Oh, yeah. it's got the tape yeah, on it still. You've got the double ovens. This one is like your traditional conventional oven, right? And this one is convection or conventional yes, somehow. It can, do both. it can do both. We're gonna cook so many great things in this. I am so stoked. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I knew something <laughs> funny was coming. Yeah, you know, just a little bit of my handiwork here. Hopefully you learned a couple handiwork. things. Yeah. I don't know what I would to, have yeah, done without you. Take that home. Maybe you can do some stuff around your house too. Thank you. Could not have done it, honestly. Thank you so much. We gotta close it in front of the new microwave and new guys. oven. I am loving it, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for Brandon who yes. did it. Yes, yes. And then there and was another dad, guy here. He, I mean, your dad, your dad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah. like handed Brandon like the things. screwdriver yeah. and stuff. I'd be like, give me the 5 15 bit, please. And he'd just be like, reduce your fractions. And I'd be like, whatever. So yeah, it was crazy. Sweet rye guy. I feel so bad that he's sick today. Oh, guys. But he's legit sick though. Let me tell you something really quick because there is a distinct difference between Kribidu faking sick on his half day of Christmas classes and rye guy because Rye guy, I could was tell so was sick sad. from this morning at swim. When I got the phone call, you guys, it was probably the most inconvenient time. I had just dropped him off. I was coming home, starting a pretty good sized vlog, a little bit late in the morning. I walked yeah. in the door and he called from school and guys, in his voice, I just knew this is no joke, he's sick. And it's one of those things as a parent, you just drop everything and go. He Mindy was strong. doing nail clients, she wasn't able to. So I turned around, literally walked in, answered the phone call, got back in my truck, went and picked, him, picked up, him up, but was happy to do sad. it. So checking him out of school today. Thought maybe he was trying to copy uh, his little brother, get a little pamphlet. As of right now, I'm planning on keeping him home tomorrow because few hours ago he's like I need more medicine he, you can just tell he feels miserable so it's like right when now, they take the medicine he's not going to swim he's not going to school yeah, I think the medicine gives him this false sense of feeling better oh, for like always. a minute and then once it wears off it's just like oh wait I'm Sad. totally sick you can tell he's sick because he stayed in his room the entire day yeah a kid like him would not be able to do that <laughs> he he'd be jumping on the still. bed <laughs> eating can oh no wait that was crew never mind <laughs> so stoked about these new appliances. Can't wait to cook something in it and share something awesome with you guys. It's gonna be amazing. I'm thinking either really like sure. microwave popcorn, microwave burrito, microwave, what else do we have up our sleeve? Something we can good. Bake cookies. Chicken nuggets. We'll make something delicious. Tune in tomorrow to see what we bake with our new oven and our new <laughs> microwave. See how Raga's feeling too. We love you. Thank you to all of the new faces around here. We're so excited to have you be we part love of our you guys family. So much. And we will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.